Hello, hello, hi sweet friends, how are you today? I hope you are having a good day, evening maybe, it depends when and where you're watching this video. I'm glad that you stopped uh, by uh, and today I would love to share with you those beauties and those are coming from limited edition kit uh, from my creative scrapbook Kit Club. A beautiful May kit uh, filled with beautiful gorgeous paper flowers, some stencil, resin, uh, of course uh, awesome uh, pretty good quality papers as always um, if it's still there on the website I cannot actually be sure so have a look and check it out make read my creative scrapbook uh, com. so have a look at that uh, and if it's gone which is possible because they do sell quite fast mm, be sure to check them next month for June or July have a look because um, once they sold out they're gone but they are very pretty worth to check price wise it depends on your budget it's not cheap but um, definitely uh, from time to time maybe it's nice to treat yourself because the kit is always put very nicely together and just to show you quickly what we have as I said we have some paper flowers we have some stamp we have some uh, chipboards uh, chipboards like that we have beautiful uh, Prima resin very heavy uh, beautiful we have some stencil we have some lace and some lovely uh, shabby chic elements and we have a uh, pretty paper and um, Pam is always putting uh, really good quality paper I have to say um, and there is this one is very thick I will show you just quickly like that so I had a plan that this month I will do cards uh, as usually I do cards but then when I was keep on thinking about it uh, another idea was coming to my head to actually create a canvas so why don't we do a canvas to today I know that uh, canvas was quite recently on my channel and it was this one purely mixed media canvas check out this video uh, I'll give you a link at the end of this video so check the check the link if you wish to see how we made that uh, it was really fun and interesting project to do so have a look if you're interested but this canvas I was thinking to create this differently lots of paper no mediums nearly really scrapbooking and kind of for beginners maybe I hope I will walk you through the process I hope that you will uh, grab your papers grab some paper uh, uh, paper and um, <laughs> sorry paper flowers and do some magic with me I would love that so let's not wait any longer and let's do it mm, I didn't say but we also had a spray in that kit actually which is nice uh, which is nice uh, I'm gonna have a look through those papers I will most definitely use this paper which is really really beautiful and I'm gonna fussy cut those elements for a definite so by looking at the rest you have to think what else would match that and since those colors are the main ones and of course the flowers are nicely put together for that can for that paper so what else could match nicely I would love to make few uh, dimensional layers of papers so that's what I'm looking for uh, right now uh, which would look nice maybe this one maybe this could be nice I'm gonna put it away and see if it's go if I'll find something that works better or maybe not I will see um, I I hope that uh, we are gonna go through that project together and I hope that you will uh, see oh that's nice green actually because and uh, well there is another green here yes so maybe this one or this one I hope that you will I like both you know I'm gonna put them aside I hope that you will uh, maybe try to create something with me it would be really nice if that's possible to create something while I create my first step will be to fussy cut those beautiful really beautiful uh, flowers I have to say that this paper is very pretty very girly very colorful I like that design on the paper and this one is 49 in market uh, sense of nature if you would like to have a look and have a check on them um, I would love you to know that I'm using some sort of elements but I would like you to get the idea that you it would be nice and beneficial if you could have a look through your stash and see what's in your stash uh, instead of concentrating and thinking that this project can be done only 
when you use exactly the same elements. It would be great, but mostly it's not possible to have all of those elements. So unless you purchase a kit. But I would love you to uh, try and believe that it is actually possible to gain similar products what I use, which I use. I'm sure you have tons of papers at home and if it would be great if you could try and use those. Why don't I just uh, <laughs> go around faster? There we go. Uh, and try to use use what you have in stash. I keep on saying that over and over again that yes it's fabulous to purchase uh, new things and it's great if you have uh, if you love a project and if you, if you would like to try it make uh, make it and you're simply getting exactly the same products. Super! But I hope to kind of I, I believe that it's definitely possible for you to uh, substitute what I'm using and try to recreate your way. That is better for from the point of view that you are trying your own way. You are guide, you have my guidance, but you are trying your own way and it's great because you are chancing your arm, you are experimenting, you are challenged by this. You have me here on the video, you are watching me, you are following my uh, my way, my idea, but you are, I'm gonna actually cut that a bit differently, but you are trying to, to make it your way with products that you have. And trust me, it's so satisfying when you are achieving actually something on your own. Uh, it's great to follow someone's tutorial, don't get me wrong, it's a great way to learn, but when you are feeling more confident, maybe it would be nice to to try and do it your own way. Mm, our elements are cut uh, and I'm thinking to use this frame. Oh. It's beautiful big big frame from uh, Prima. Either that or that actually or that, probably that. <laughs> it's nearly a shame to cover it mm -hmm. but I feel that this is what I should do. <laughs> You know, when you have this gut feeling that uh, that's that's what would be nice, maybe like this or like that. I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure we will figure this out. Let's see what will happen when I add flowers, how this will look. We need some background anyway. Um, we are going to be gentle on the background. I'm going to use just papers. I hope to kind of make this really um, delicate, really uh, light, no heavy mediums this time. Very, very simple. Okay, I love that flower. It's quite big and heavy. Let's not add it yet as yet. It would be maybe nice to work our magic somewhere like that or maybe up high this so that I can have maybe even higher, maybe like this so I could have my flowers somewhere flat and lay down here mm -hmm. oh okay okay what if no no you see you can go up around and see and change the before you stick, before you start adding the elements and change the, change it and see. Um, I said it it's for beginners because there is no kind of much of a thinking in terms of uh, you have few lovely elements just to put together nicely and decide where and what should go. Uh, not difficult, not difficult. I would love to use uh, chipboards as well. Since they are brown, I'm not too convinced about that. I will change the color, maybe spray it uh, white. I'm gonna use white spray it or maybe emboss it. I don't know yet. I, I will know <laughs> in a minute. I would love to use maybe some of those. Uh, those are pretty. 
but I have to say I love it as it is. I really love it. It's nearly I could nearly leave it as it is. <laughs> it would not be okay, but uh, it is that pretty. I really enjoy looking at it. I like that as well. Oh, a little element is falling apart. Um, since I have no plan and since I haven't done um similar project for a long time or nothing similar as such, that's why. It the process of thinking it's I'm not rushing right now because I'm looking what I have and I'm trying as you can see using things from the kit because that's the idea to get a kit and to try to work your magic around that so that's why I am kind of taking my time and I'm trying to see what could match nicely and why and what can we change and by trying out things around you are actually learning and you're discovering, you can discover something purely by accident. Um, okay. I do like everything so far. I really enjoy that. I, I may change my mind and spray my background, I don't know. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because, just because. <laughs> because we can, because we can. Okay, okay. How about... That kind of trick happening. How about? Mhm. Mm it's completely, uh, utterly. Is that completely utterly different project so far to my recent mix? And I like that fact. I like that because I like. Um, you have been asking me for canvas. I've done the the heavy mixed media canvas, so I think I think you will appreciate that because some of you have said that you would like a scrapbooking kind of canvas. So um, this is something I haven't. I think I, there's one video on something that's in that type, but not not this. No, but it's more like a collaging thing. So uh, so yes, this is challenging right now for me. Honestly, it is. I love it. Don't get me wrong, but it's challenging. I would love to give you enough impression that you will know yourself what to do, where to place things and why. And many things I do are kind of, what's the word, they're kind of, a com not common sense even, it's more like an instinct. So that is very hard to explain then why have I put, put something here or there. Very hard indeed, but I'll do my best. I hope I'm doing my best to to show you and help you out in that uh, process. As you can see, I'm trying to keep my papers visible enough, but I don't want this to be to have the feeling of you know what I'm gonna get rid of that key thing. I don't like that. I want to give the impression that everything belongs together. That it's a family. It's like this is what should be together. So I don't want the feeling that papers are from something from somewhere else and that it, it, I want the integrity of that. I adore this two bits right now, right here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can you see what I see? I'm thinking that I would love to keep that blank rather than actually add any photo and maybe I have to think about what instead I could add. Wow, now I'm afraid of background because I have chosen the Oops, sorry. I have chosen the green one and the green one I'm afraid it would be too much, too dark, too busy, too much color. I love this scheme. I wouldn't like to add any more green. This green what's here it's plenty to me for me. But this creamy underneath it could be nice, don't you think? It could be really nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a photo right now of this composition and I'm gonna take it down. Um yeah, actually, I can probably take it down without... Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Marta, think. Think, 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 think. My dad would say, think, think, think. Uh, it's a rough sketch of a composition in, in, in on my desk right now. And let let's to remember kind of where this is placed. Yeah, it's nice like that. So the next step would be maybe to actually... Um, add this paper but in a different way let's do some let's do that will you dislike me for it yes don't be afraid art is not about perfection it's not about cutting it precisely it's not about 
being scared of tearing apart or using your supplies. Craft, the crafters, crafters community, we have a tendency and we have a fear of um, we have a fear of destroying. Don't. It's okay. Next time you do better if this won't work. Relax and enjoy and have fun with it. Okay. Okay, like that. So what I will do now is I will Okay, I'm not gonna do this, but I will do this. As in I don't want this to be even but even niche. Is that the right word in any sense? Even ish. So I'm not gonna use scissors. Oops, don't move my composition. I'm not gonna move my uh, use my scissors, but I will use my I, my um, this thing. So it's not gonna be that perfect, but it's gonna be just m more proper cut because I want the straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the straight line would be nice because it's the edge. That's that's you know. That's the that's the reason. Yeah, there we go. You know what I mean by now. I think you do. <laughs> I think you do. Okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. That's what we have now. And that's what I absolutely love. You can only imagine now. Let's just put it like this for two seconds, literally. Just to see the idea of the color and all. Oh, dreamy, wedding-ish looking now, isn't it? Loving it to bits. I'm very happy with what I see right now. Very much. And you know what? I'm thinking to leave that bit even higher as it is, not worry about it. And why don't we just... I like that edge. I wish to keep that coloring edge, colored edge. It's nice. But what about... No, no, no. The first idea was pretty okay. So I'll try to do similar thing now. Where to sc is it scoring? Scoring? <clears throat> or something like that. The terminology in my head is just so bad. So bad. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to the business here and make some pretty things. I like that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Maybe even I leave it longer and sticking out. Yeah, will I? Will I or won't I? Will I or won't I? Hmm. This is my process, thinking process, you know? So that's why it's like, it is what it is. I leave it as it is, I like that. Whatever that means to you, if it's not that... I don't want this to be even, but I want this to be even-ish, kind of pro properly-ish. I don't, I can't explain it. I like that, what I see, okay. So my next step will be to take some gel medium. You can use just a glue, but probably gel medium would be nice to use, because it will just... Oops, I just moved it. It would just ho hold everything better and it would hold hold it like kind of for sure. <laughs> I think I'm losing my voice. Is it lack of drink or is it sickness? Or I talk too much and it's something hitting, coming to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that. We will find out in a few days or tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. I love this. I, yet again, I'm gonna repeat myself. If something is slightly is not fully sticking, that's okay. That's okay. Nobody's gonna measure anything here with a precise, precision knife or... If it's gonna be a little less sticky, that's fine. Relax. Arts and crafts and all of that should be for our relaxation, for our love to create. So relax about it. Don't stress stress yourself. Rip something. Don't be afraid. That just came to my head now, so <laughs> change of plans, change of plans. Because we can. It's our project, so you can change it as you wish. 
it's a good quality paper so it's <laughs> harder to bend it of course it is yeah I'm gonna actually have a sip of of tea can you believe it I have two teas and that's another one <laughs> I have two teas one is red one is brown one is for a good digestion or something and the other one is for hair and skin many of I'm sure some of you have noticed that my skin isn't the greatest and when I talk to on the videos and I fight with it and battle with it and I just cannot really do much about it since always it's just something that I dislike about my self I accepted it though but I'm trying to <laughs> do something about it by drinking a tea that meant to make my skin looking healthier better or whichever okay this doesn't really uh, stick because we were moving too much so let's do it again and that's all fine you can add some glue glue gun additionally why not help yourself help yourself mm -hmm. So this will for definite hold it properly <laughs> yeah because yeah, I was lifting you see I was lifting and surely when I was lifting that it was just not holding properly when you lift so that's what it is that's okay I'm really relaxed about those things if I would worry about every bend I have or every uh, wrinkle I have on the paper nah 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 it's not worth it okay okie dokie Look by accident how pretty that is now. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, sorry. Is it like this? No, like this. Oh my. I love it. I really, I really, really enjoy that project right here, right now. I am... Um, I'm loving it. That's the best I can say. So, let's just mm, see. Let's just check. Let's just try. Let's just have a look oops let's have a look how this could be should be oh, this is just amazing I'm sorry for praising myself yet again but sometimes I just amaze myself right now this and um, when I said we make canvas this didn't come to my head not even in a percentage I just didn't see it I thought I had some other projects in head you always have some sort of projects in head this 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 beautiful composition but this beautiful colors that we have here I love it I love 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 it so yes I hope you can see it I hope you will be able to find in your own stash similar items it would be really nice really really nice if it's possible I am gonna go with the flow stick that uh, but before I'm gonna think of what could I actually add in the frame in the meantime I was uh, on Facebook live and I have been asking you friends what would work better what is the photo or maybe the, the the words and this words I have it from my stash and those are beautiful saying leave footprints take only uh, memories so I like that and I think to add this but before anything and everything I, what I will do I'm gonna move that around and I will we are still live on Facebook by the way I'm recording it but I thought I'll keep it I keep it for a while for my sweet friends because yes because I love that interaction so what I will do I'm gonna stick my frame actually and I'm gonna use gel medium to stick that because gel medium will most definitely hold it very well properly it will be it's a great choice for a glue when you're trying to add heavy elements that's most definitely you could use glue gun you could use your own um, glues but there is always this little worry will it last what if it fall down will it stick st will be stick still sticked uh, attached or will it fall apart so that's kind of the only thing especially when we're talking about heavy elements like this one uh, not when we are talking about paper or paper flowers I wouldn't be worried too much about those like now I'm, I will be adding my <coughs> elements <coughs> excuse me I will be adding my elements with a glue gun because paper to paper is absolutely fine and I need also 3D the little 3D things <clears throat> 3D 
3D things or this. That could be nice as well. So this one, what we, this is what we have. We have them to add. And we need to raise this a little bit. So what I will do, <clears throat> uh, what I will do now, I will add my tape, my 3D tape. And I will add a little glue gun because I like doing both. That's how I do it. Why? I don't know. I like, I, it's like bigger security that it will actually be uh, sticked properly and all. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. I like that. And let's just continue with our flowers and see for the last look where will I place it, where will I add it, what would be nice. Let's see. Uh, we're still live on Facebook. Uh, you are watching it on YouTube, but we are live on Facebook. I cannot read comments because I am concentrating. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying that, guys, on Facebook right now. Mm, I'm going to add some flowers and I will see what else I can add to make this nice. I love what I see right now. I really do. So, let's add a 3D form as well here on that paper on that element and I always use glue and foam and here will be exactly the same mm -hmm. maybe something like that maybe something like that this um, is something that holds my phone right now when I am live <laughs> on Facebook so yes that's why you see this this is this is a flower pot actually and it's awesome because it's as you can hear it's from concrete is it concrete ceramic <laughs> yeah concrete it's from ceramic so it's very heavy and it holds great everything and it doesn't fall and so on and so on so it's great okay I like that um, I like that and I'm gonna Take that, what I see. I do, I do, I think it's perfect. I wouldn't change much. So let's just <clears throat> have that on. And let's have other flowers on. I use glue gun to paper flowers because I, they will be perfectly fine. They will stick, they be fine, then nothing will happen. They won't go away anywhere from your project. Paper to paper, it's absolutely perfect and safe to use your uh, glue gun so you can be totally relaxed about that. I'm not too sure about this white flower. What about if we swap that with with this one? Is this not too purplish then and too dark? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Um, Let's see. Or both? No, I think I prefer the brighter one. This is very heavy. This is quite... Hi Erin. Hi Katty. Hi Bella. Hi Pam. I'm reading uh, comments on Facebook as as we are live at the same time. I like that spontaneous live streams, that kind of way. Where will I add this? Help me out. Help me out. Oh, maybe like this, actually. Actually, it looks good. It looks fine. I leave it. I'm gonna concentrate on that side right now. <clears throat> I will have this on so I will also add 3D foam here. 3D foam here as well. So to hold that. Yeah, you probably it's funny because um, with me life is very unpredictable and some of you have asked to, 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 to tell you that the life will be happening but I kind of, I am doing it myself spontaneously, I just, I was just thinking okay while I'm doing video for YouTube, for you guys, I can just say hi life. So that's the idea behind it, that's the, that's the reason really behind it, so <clears throat> So I don't plan it. I don't know whether I will be live today or not. I don't know. It's a big surprise for me. So 
I like that so much. Pretty. I hope it's pretty, guys. I hope you enjoy that. I really do. So far, so good. I love it as well. So, yes. I don't want to have too many flowers, but at the same time, I think it's so nice that there's so many flowers, you know? I think it's really nice that we have so many things. It can be busy sometimes. It's nice that some projects are full of things, full of elements, full of either flowers or things. Why not? Why not make things? Like if you would be considering making project like this for a wedding gift or a gift in general, of course you would want to make sure that, I'm just making that shorter, you, you want to make sure that you are using uh, all the pretty bits, things that you would be proud of to use and that you know that they will enjoy the people, the recipients, 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 that they will love it, enjoy it, and appreciate, appreciate it. I need to cut that. And since I had cannot find my uh, craft knife, you won't be surprised if I cannot find my scissors, isn't it? Um, yes, that's kind of what I see at the moment. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> okay. I cannot find it, that's okay, that's okay, I'll just put it shorter and that's it. Oh, look at that, it's nice, I like that, I really do. What about if we take that away, have this here in white and have a different title, a different something, because this could be nice. Hmm, you know what, this could be surprisingly nice, add it that way but it has to be white it has to be definitely changed into white color I think it's gorgeous and I will most definitely emboss this element so what I will do is I need that tray for it will dry you can actually uh, yeah paint or embossing ink yeah, there are different ways that you can stick your embossing powder to your chipboard. Not only that it has to be embossing tool thing, embossing thing, um, what you call it, embossing ink. No. <clears throat> I have chipboard with my embossing powder on. And let's, let's emboss it. Oh. My chipboard is beautifully uh, embossed with embossing powder and I'm gonna... I'm gonna attach it just just like that just now because I like the placement so I have no worries that it's in the wrong place no I can always remove it but I think I like that I like that it's covering the the frame I know what you think oh why is she covering this gorgeous beautiful frame well I don't know it's just how it is that's how I feel that's how I think it'd be nice because um, if we keep every single element um, as it was originally the visible, no, things won't be kind of, I can't get that glue out, things won't be looking as uni unity as together by, by the, the fact that we are actually adding things on top of each other and things are picking through and things are, things are gently visible here and there. This is where the, it comes kind of and be, become like together. That's how I feel. So that's why, that's the reason. Uh, what about if we add a little glue there? Maybe it would be nice. <clears throat> Our birdie is still there and I, I like to keep the birdie there. Mm -hmm. I like that. What do you think? Because I really, really like that. Maybe less, maybe maybe less here. I really, really do like that. Now we still didn't uh, we still didn't decide for the bottom part. I think I I do enjoy this as it is, but I definitely wish to make sure I I love it totally because it has to be total love, I think. <clears throat> What about adding those little leaves from this pack? I think this could be quite nice. Mm -hmm. It is actually. It is nice. 
Oh, there's two of them. Well, that's good. That's good. That means we have more. <laughs> if they stick like this. This is a nice delicate green. So it's, it's, it's super. And if we will keep on adding them in... <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. Out of nowhere. Uh, if we keep on adding them kind of in places, it will make everything come together again. I'm not convinced about that chipboard writing. I really am not. I don't know why. Now it's definitely not really for it place because I fell in love with that element. So that's even better because that's <clears throat> from the kit. This isn't. This isn't from the kit. So we are still good to use kits elements mostly uh, which is nice <clears throat> but again um, be sure to check your stash uh, you have zillion similar things um, so use your stash guys use your flowers from your stash have a look what you have around you and use that it's nice to use oh I forgot this isn't sticked so I can I can shuffle that here. It's nice to go back to old elements. It's nice to give them a second chance. I like what I see now. Maybe I just leave it as it is, just like that, without without m m making uh, any changes. Just as I see, just what I see. Maybe something else here. What about this one? <clears throat> What about this one? Would that be too much? Oh, maybe like this actually. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna just keep it. I want to make sure it is in the place as it is. So I'm just adding glue underneath it and I love that. Oh, even like this. Without this one, maybe just, oops, <laughs> magically flying. Maybe this only, or none, or, 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 or yes or no, or what you think. <clears throat> what you think? I love that. Oh, yes. Yes, definitely. This goes there. This belongs there big time. Okay. A delicate finish off with this gorgeous tiny flower. Love that. And the glue is standing out a little. Ay! Ay! Ay, ay, ay. Let's do that again. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, the glue gun is deadly sometimes, as they say, isn't it? Or like this. Yeah, there we go. Now that's that's perfect. That's perfect. That's good enough. Um, we had those yellow flowers, but I think yellow for other pipers would be good for this one. Not not so so. Not so much. We have this lovely. Um, <clears throat> lovely satin ribbon what about <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice today what is wrong with my voice I think I was talking too much today or something whatever happened I can hear that I talk funny <laughs> where are my scissors that's really bad I cannot find even the small one the one that I was fussy cutting minutes ago. <laughs> no way. No, I don't have it. I can't. Oh, they are. They are on the floor. The goosey gander found them. Okay. Uh, we have also pink one. I'll see. <laughs> I'll see which is better. Maybe both. Maybe actually both. I'll cut it, maybe none. I don't know. We have to have a look. We have to check it. If you want to keep on trying, you won't know. So you have to kind of check it for yourself. What rings your bell? What what makes your heart beat faster? What makes you smile when you create? Which elements are giving you this oh yeah this is it oh yes I love that oh yeah well that doesn't give me this I think I don't know no I don't know no uh, West yes I know I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna stick without leave that without any of the um, yeah this definitely should go there or 
this one. Oh, yes. I leave that there. That's nice. Okay, and I found some pickers and I was thinking about putting a word called happy. And have a look at that. It's actually not too bad idea. I think it's white, but it's someone on the live stream said about glitter and I think it was a good idea because glitter makes it stand out. It's actually pinkish a little bit. And I don't want this to scream too much at me. You know, I, this is so bright, so whitish, so creamy, so girly, so delicate, so soft looking that any darker element now added would be kind of out of place I feel so I think we could be really lucky with that now word let's have a look I I don't know I'll 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 see with you but I have a feeling right away that it's actually a good choice there we go happy and this could be done <clears throat> this could be done you can add your little photo there if you want you don't have to or what if we add it somewhere else like here no probably not probably pointless totally pointless anywhere here on the on the flowers <coughs> excuse me that looks good as well i be honest that looks very well indeed maybe up higher Mm-hmm. That looks nice. That looks nice. So where will we place it? And now, what about if I find that butterfly that I always keep on adding? <laughs> Look what I found. Two butterflies from my stash and they actually... and I love it. I just place them like that and I love it. I got them. They are from Michael's. They are Michael's brand. I got them from Rain. She sent it over to me recently in the uh, box from from states where I had beautiful goodies from states and they are dimensional <clears throat> lovely butterflies so I think I'm gonna stick with that I like that we don't n always necessarily have to use a photo in the frame or that we have to have a sentiment we can just do you know the photo the kind of I didn't want this to be a, another photo I want I wanted this to be neutral looking that I could uh, it could be for birthday it could be for wedding gift it could be for myself it could be for just 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 for fun just enjoying it as it is without photo I I like that kind of idea that it is not with the photo as such it can be just like this and I love it happy I am a very happy person, happy and lucky, and why not cherish this? <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay, now let's stick with their A. <laughs> um, if you are buying a regular you irregularly buying kits from my creative scrapbook you definitely have those stickers uh, those are from previous kits for example and they are like they called stickers or this is another one thicker a different brand so you definitely can have a look at your uh, stash and you may find it some oops I just burnt myself a little bit ouch I am sure you may find something similar something like so have a look at it. I have to say what a surprising effect at the end in the end uh, because because uh, no plan happened to be the best plan again. It's nice to go with the flow. I like that very much. I love the project. It's so different and it's not heavy mixed media but it's very shabby and you have to admit it is for everyone. It's for every beginner that wish to try and wish to make a scrapbooking canvas, not mixed media canvas. There's no mediums used beside glue. It's a scrapbooking canvas, beautiful, girly looking canvas. Oh, the glue. And 
you can change it your way, you can add some uh, photo if you wish, you can add sentiment, whatever you like, but this is something to give you uh, an inspiration, I hope, anyway, so... <laughs> I will finish, <clears throat> excuse me, I will finish it that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, a little bit uh, strange video probably when I talk live at the same time as record on YouTube, but I think it's fun. I love making fun things and surprises. Uh, you never know what will happen with Marta. This is me. <laughs> That's how it is. I hope you like that project. I hope it was inspirational and I hope to see your projects. Tag me on your projects. Use hashtag MariaMeSmallArt so I can see it. Post it on my Facebook page, on Instagram. Tag me, tag me, tag me. I always come and check and say hi or at least like your project. I would love to see your inspirations for sure. Thank you for watching. Let me know most definitely what you think about that. I would love to hear from you suggestions and I will finish it that. Uh, thank you very, very much. I'll chat to you soon. Yeah, I'll chat to you soon. Bye.